All right, coming up next, a UFC Phantom Weight Division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now our tale of the take for this Bantamweight scrap. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting at a Kiev, Ukraine, Hurricane. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. is underway, and we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Back to the body shots now. That one blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. Real nice body kick land. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Yeah. 
And he caught the kick. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Missed with that jab attempt there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, huge block! Big ball for punch land. Now he's getting back to range. Liver kick. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, here comes the kick, that one blocked by Lee. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Gotta start raising that guard or this is gonna be the end of the fight. You gotta start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Big head kick land. Just misses with a left hook there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, connects with the one, two. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. High kick, high kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just missed with that right hand. Able to land there with the straight left. Nice. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. Lee gets caught with that punch. And that left hook landed on the button. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Blocks the strike. Oh, eats a knee. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Big head kick. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. 
Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands a strike there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That was a thudding leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. The right hand just misses. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice try. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big head kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Lands the right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big body kick land. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big kick land. Misses with the right hand. He loaded up there on that high kick. Connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on a fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot. Right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Final seconds here. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. And that's the end of round number two. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? 
He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Big head kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Beautiful head kick. Great kicks there. Unable to connect with a right hook. Great punch. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Beautiful strike. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. on the right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. Sneaky head kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. Single collar tie now. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Missed with that attempt. Right hook to the head blocked. Right at the elbow. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. And continues with the inside leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice head kick. Oh, nice right hand. How good is that right hand? That's a 
big strike right there. Big head kick lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an opportunity. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice punch by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick. Let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Lee. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down tonight. And he landed the right hand there. Head kick lands. Spinning back this lands. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, beautiful jab placement there by the longer fighter. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just misses with the jab. Oh, collar tie. Huge knee lands from in close. Oh, that's a good right hand. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh, in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Big kick land. Nice body kick. What a punch. Under two minutes to go. Can't take any of those, you better check. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Punch land. Oh, and he caught the kicks. 
And now he's got the tight catch. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right through the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it to. Liver kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice right punch followed by a left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick land. Ooh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. I mean, he's cutting down the side. Kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. What a body kick. Right hand upstairs. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent got to be going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Under three minutes now to go round five. Powerful leg kick lands. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Lands with the right hand. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. He can't even, he can barely stand. Hands higher, hands higher. Lee's head 
kick attempt. That one is blocked. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, man, head kick lands. Nice straight punch. Plus right hand is true. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, big head kick. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! Dig and kick. Checks that leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Head kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. So a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight. Larson got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48 47. For the winner by unanimous decision, Hurricane. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.